everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young and today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint cherubs up in the sky. I want this to have an old uh, renaissance kind of a feel to it. Um, this one was actually requested by uh, my sister who's near and dear to me so this one's for you. I hope this turns out. I did not practice beforehand. I'm just kind of winging it and here we go. So here I've got a palette of white, turquoise, sap green, magenta, phthalo blue, light blue violet, yellow ochre, metallic gold, lemon yellow, neon red, burnt sienna. So what I'm going to do first is work on the sky, the background. Um, so I'm going to be doing a very light blue for that to begin with. I'm going to take some white and a little bit of that phthalo blue. Load my brush up very well. So I'm just going to pull my brush and sweep kind of in a crisscross zigzag. And then when there's not much paint left on the brush, I'm going to hold it straight up and down like this and twirl my brush around in little circles. I'm going to add just a little bit of water on my brush. It's not dripping, just the tiniest amount. Go back for more paint, picking up a little bit more white. I'm seeing that my palette has a glare on it, so I'm going to hold it down low. And I'm going to come in here. So wherever I'm leaving spaces of white, those are going to be the clouds. You're not going to need a lot of paint for this one today, especially if you're doing it on a small canvas like this. I'm going to take a little bit of turquoise, try not to blind you guys here with my palette. I switched over to this today just because my resin palettes need, need a really good cleaning and I didn't want to bother cleaning them, so just taking an old plastic lid from a bucket and I put some tin foil. So you see how this kind of changes up to a turquoise now by adding it's like a turquoisey blue. I pick up some white. Use soft circles. I'm going to go around the sides too. I want to carry this painting around the edges so that you can see it from every angle once it's hung on the wall. So I'll bring this one up here. We're on the side here. And what I want to do is take a little bit more white with neon red and a little bit of yellow. I want to make a light peachy color. You can see that yellow is really strong. You don't need much of it at all. And I'm going to just start adding a little bit into the clouds, partially on the turquoise as well as on the white. So what I love about these old style of paintings, these kind of angelic, heavenly, beautiful paintings, is that they have that kind of a smoky look 
to them and I don't know if it's just what has happened to them from over all the years that they've taken on this look to them but I love that kind of a look so I'm even going to add a little bit of a burnt sienna maybe in a little bit we'll see where this goes like I said I'm just winging this now I've got a few images that I'm looking at that are obviously inspiring this painting still using the same brush what I want to do is take a little bit of my gold and I'm going to apply it right down here and it's mixed with whatever was on my brush so you can see that uh, light neon red peachy color coming out more of the red than yellow and I like to overlap it like I said over top of part of the blue the turquoise and then I'm going to I want to make like a gray color but I don't have black on my palette so what can I use to make those that kind of a color well I'll take a little bit of my sap green I'll mix it with burnt sienna, a little bit of blue, and then we've got a nice dark color right here, and it's mixed with that burnt sienna, right, the blue and the green. So we've got a very dark gray color. Now I've got too much paint on my brush, so what I like to do is just take an old rag and just kind of scrub off the excess, and I've I've still got a lot of paint in here, but just not as much as before, so I'm just going to start coming in very lightly and carefully down here. You see how dry my brush is? I'm going to add a little bit of it over here. So we don't need a lot of it, right? We just need little hints of it like that. And then I'm going to wash this brush off and switch over to another one. So I've got a little mop brush here. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my light blue violet and white. I'm now going to add a little bit of this soft little circles and look at how pretty that looks over top so you can see the importance of layering colors you don't want to apply too much paint you want to build it up in soft layers that way you're always you're just enhancing the color that's underneath you're building it up and they're all complementing each other. I want to pick up a little bit more of that light blue violet. Make it a little bit darker right here in contrast. And pick up a little bit of my peach. And these two colors are very complementary. Obviously because this is a blue violet, so it's got a purple tone to it and purple and orange peach are very complimentary you can't go wrong with those so if you want to add little bits of it around your purples it will always look complimentary so I've got a little liner brush now because I want to do some little lines and if you guys have been watching my videos lately I've been painting a lot of skies for you and 
showing you my process, giving you guys, hopefully giving you guys some good tips and techniques for creating different types of clouds. So here you can see me very loosely twisting and rolling my brush around with a bit of that blue violet on there. And yeah, so I've got a lot of it on my brush to work with. And you can manipulate it and move it around. Bring it wherever you want. You can bring it right into here too. So just a little bit like that. And then maybe I'll go back into my my dark grayish color that I was using before. And then I'll do a little something right in here. Build up a little bit, just a little bit more contrast here, as well as right in here. So just all sorts of little wiggly lines. Kind of like a road map. Or if you were painting, you know, um, like lightning. Kind of the same thing. Just think like that. And then I'll just soften a little bit. So I'm barely touching. Very, very lightly. So another brush here, what I want to do is take a bit more white. Scoop a little bit of that peachy color on there. I'm just going to add very lightly here and delicately some little peaks. So the rest of the sky is very fuzzy and blurry. And we just want to have a few of these in here. So I'm kind of just testing out where these look, where these are going to look nice, where I want them to be. I can easily, quite easily, blend them out and make them look blurry again if I don't like necessarily like the way they look. So that noise that the brush is making, I had a question early this morning um, if I could go over what exactly scumbling is and how much water paint is in the brush when I'm doing it. So what I do when I'm scumbling is, after I've put on all of the paint, my brush is left with just a little bit left. So my brush is quite dry, and it's a light scrubbing, very gentle light scrubbing. And what it does is softly, gives you like a, almost like an airbrushed look. of a powdery look. Now what I want to do is come down here. I'm going to add, look at that pretty peach right there. I love that. I've been uh, enjoying all your comments. I try to read. I think I'm all caught up. I've read almost every single comment. From you guys and you guys are always telling me you see different things different shapes animals uh, different things in my clouds and that's really cool I love hearing that somebody said that they saw um, what was it an elephant this morning a little pig yeah it's kind of neat we do that though when we look up at the sky and we look at the clouds we can make out little little shapes and see different images. And art should really do that. It should make everybody see something different. I don't see what you guys see and I, I just really love that. I think that that's so cool. I feel like it was kind of meant for you as the viewer. Maybe it's a little sign for you guys that maybe you're seeing what you're supposed to see. I kind of believe in things like that. It's kind of like the dreamer in me. Maybe it's your spirit animal. Maybe it's a sign. Somebody sending you a message. Okay, so I better... I could get lost in painting clouds. I could just paint this for hours and just keep building up and adding more. But I need to 
start painting these little cherubs. So let's begin that. All right, so we're gonna have three cherubs. I wanna do three. I like things in threes. I think things happen in threes and three is kind of a lucky number. And I have three kids whom I love very much. So I'm gonna begin taking a little bit of white and a little bit of my neon red. I'm gonna make an angelic pink face. So I'm gonna have one right here. There's gonna be one face. We're just gonna do this a little bit at a time and it's gonna look pretty weird at first, but you know, you have to just keep going and trust. So here's the head, the face, it's wider up here, and then it comes down and around into a point. I'm going to be doing this just very loosely. When I do uh, animals and people or angels, I don't um, do a ton of detail. I just do enough that you kind of get the idea of what it is. What this is, is the back, the shoulder coming down, the elbow, and a little hand right there. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of hair. I'm going to mix burnt sienna with my gold. And all that will do is just give it a little bit of shimmer. Just going to dab. Have a little bit right around here. Like that. Work out the excess paint on my little palette. I'm going to come around the shoulder. Now this little cherub is going to be uh, holding some flowers. There's going to be some flowers and some wreaths. Well, one wreath for sure. And uh, it looks like it's an eye right there. Let's make that an eye. Just like that. I should be using, actually should be using a smaller brush for that, so I'm going to leave that for now. And we'll add a little bit of our neon pink. Come right around here. Pick up a little bit of white. I've still got some of that burnt sienna in my brush. There's a little ribbon. So just kind of wiggling around. And then I'm going to take white on the tip of my brush. Now you could use neon pink for this as well. You could use, um, honestly guys, you don't have to stress out. Please don't stress out about trying to find the same exact colors that I'm using, although I am going to add them below in my description box. These are just what I'm using. You can use whatever you want, any variation. I'm switch over to my little liner brush. Taking a little bit of my uh, burnt sienna and my red. A little bit more burnt sienna. Giving this chair up some curly hair. Just doing little Little tiny scoops for curls.
Now, I don't know if cherubs have little halos of flowers, but I think that's what I'd like to add to mine. And they've got some pretty little wings. We'll just do a little outline here for some wings. We'll add a little bit of light blue violet first. And then come in with white. So this will be our, our little shadows that we need for our contrast. And then, like I said, there's some green flowers in here. Or, or um, sorry, like a bouquet. So I'm using some sap green. Maybe there's a little bit over here too. And I want to add a little bit like almost like a little halo. I think that's pretty. I just rinse my brush out. I'm going to add oops, a little bit of turquoise. To that sap green. And then just a little bit of yellow and some white. So I'm going to mix the two colors up. I want to use more white than yellow. So I've made a really soft pastel yellow. And add little bits like that. Now I've got to get it right on the tip of my brush like that in order for me to get these tiny little dabs that I want. Back to my neon red. A little bit of white. Whoops, I got a little bit of green in there. It's all right. And I'm gonna take some white now. A few little flowers. Now I've got some magenta. Remember I have a little bit of magenta so I'm going to take a little bit of white with it and mix that up and kind of soften this color up a little bit in here. And add some light another shade of pink like that now I need to go back to my dark color that I made earlier so my dark color again was burnt sienna sap green phthalo blue We just want to add some eyes. Those look a little scary right now. I'm going to soften those a little bit. I'm 
I'm just taking some light right here. And then I want to go over, back over to these wings and add some feathers on them. Really make them look soft and feathery like. Now I might have to wait till this dries a little bit more. So I'm possibly going to pick up too much paint that's underneath. So what I'm doing is I'm wiping, every time I do this, I'm picking up the dark paint underneath. So I'm wiping that off on a towel close by. Taking a bit of my dark color mixed with my white, and I'm going to add a shadow around the back here and leave the top of the back and the shoulder with a highlight. I'm going to actually just bring it up a little bit to that hairline. Come very close to that ribbon. line for the wrist, use some fingers, can't really see very well. Do just a little, little line there for a mouth. brush, more pink. We we'll add some almost ruffles in here. I'm gonna add a little of a shadow, my dark shadow color over part of this. Take a little bit of blue violet. Put some of that in here. my blending brush. Well, it's a little filbert brush here I'm using. But it's working as a good little blender right now. I'm going to take a little bit more white. Pull in some right here. That forehead, that head up just a little bit more. A little bit more green, little dabs in here.
Making a little bit of my magenta. Add a little bit of that in here too. bit more sap green mixed with my magenta. Then right in here I'm going to start building up the little bouquet from the next cherub. So I've got my filbert brush and I'm going to use my darkest color first. Alright, I just want to Start tapping in. It just looks like a really deep, dark forest green. And then there's going to be an arm. Comes up like this. A little hand. And then the bouquet underneath. And you can just do little taps like this for the leaves. You can also just go over to a smaller brush, but just want to get that in there. So yeah, we've got a little arm in here, and we'll have a little hand in there. Let me just wash my brush off and we can take some of that off. Push that paint right off. Wipe it off on a towel. What I'm going to do is take my neon red with my dark color and there's a little bit of white in there and I'm going to use this to start the shadows on the arm. Then I'm going to take some white, my peachy color. So any skin color, I like to use peach. I'm going to bring it in here, bring it over, and then up. Back to my light pink because that's too yellow. a little face there. I'll have some gold hair. This one's going to be a little bit more blonde. A bit like that. And then we'll come in Here, back, a little bit of the side. It's gonna have a blue. He or she is gonna have a, a blue ribbon, and the ribbon will go in here, and then a little bit of stomach right here, leg. I don't know, I think I might be making that a bit too big. So I'm going to take some of that off right away while I can. We do have that second leg in there. Um, and that is going to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to take my burnt sienna and my gold.
paint here. I really want to brighten this up. Even more. I'm going to take my light blue violet again and add a little line like this and then come up for one wing just like that and then I'll do the other one. So a little bit of white and, and a light blue violet this time and then I'll come See, it's almost like a little heart shape. It's going to come around like this. So that for now, we'll let that kind of dry and move on to working on the rest of his body. So remember you just got, I'm going to do uh, got a ribbon there so what I want to do is take some sap green phthalo blue and white now what that's going to do is give me phthalo green color and I'm going to come right in here I'm just going to tap in here it's going to kind of blend in a little bit with the flowers and then it comes over over here And then scoops down and then right underneath right underneath like that it kind of has these swirls and we're gonna add some highlights Kind of blend that in and then there's also some down in here I want to take some white right away actually and just play around with this do little lines it's where it kind of uh, get some folding and twisting of the fabric so see, it's got to be a different color from the sky. That's why I decided to make it more of a, a phthalo -y green blue color. It's fun to make your own colors. I'm going to come over to my little liner brush here. I'm going to take my light pink again that I made with neon red and white. And I can see that I've brought this foot up just a little bit too high. So I'm going to gently, gently scrub slash scumble. Fill this back in with a sky color. That's too dark, so I'm going to add some white. And hopefully I'm able to camouflage that. I'll see what I can do later. Um, just wash this out again. I'm actually really enjoying this painting. It's been a long time since I uh, painted angels or cherubs. Wait, have I ever painted cherubs? I don't know. I've been painting for a long time and I've painted so many different things. I can't keep track, but this is not something that I would have typically decided to paint today, so thanks for the request. 
like I said earlier, it was my sister. If you're watching, I miss you and I love you. We used to live in the same town for many years and we recently moved away. And I have two sisters actually and I miss them both so much. So I'm going to come down and move this leg a little bit here because it was just too high scoop. So I'm going to bring the strong highlight here. I'm using straight titanium white. But the thing is, it is uh, picking up a little bit of the wet paint underneath. And then it's bright right in here. And then there's going to be a little dark spot there for its belly button. Let's just add a little tiny dab for a little belly button. Something small like that. Back to my white. And around and then let's try that again. And this calf comes up. We have a little foot there. So as soon as I work on this shadow, the bottom part of the leg, hopefully this will look a little bit better. a little bit better. I'm just going to water down my brush a little bit and soften. I have some little, little toes in here. You know what, I need to take a little bit, I need to warm this up in here so I'm taking my neon red. Be a little bit warmer. I don't know how this is looking. I'm not really sure. All I know is it's a fun little challenge. Bring a little bit of that warmth right in there. There. So in here. And while I've got this color on my brush, rosy cheek. Shadow. Shape of the face comes down into the eye area, around, and then a little diagonal right in here. So it's kind of like a zigzag. And I'll just blend that in a little bit there. Underneath. A little nose in here. A little bit more color. And 
And back to my darkish color here. Well, I don't know about that. I'm going to have to work on that, that's for sure. Go over that. Oh, I think I know what I did. I brought it out too wide. See, I brought it out too wide. It should be a little smaller there. Instantly, that looks better. See, you guys, I don't really. Painting people, animals is not my. Forte, I guess you could say, um, but sometimes I just really feel like painting them. So, or if I get a, a special request, how could I say no to my sister? Sometimes I just want to give it a try, you know. Try and make this a little bit smaller in here. Yeah, that looks better too. So it's very tricky if you've never painted faces before to get the right proportions and all that stuff. Come around. Add this light in here again. Little nose. Chin. I add some turquoise in here for some color on the bouquet and the leaves. So just with a little lighter brush you can easily do that. And then I'm going to come in with some white. White and my butter yellow that I made. And add some more. See all those? Greens mixed together look really pretty. Some little roses in there. I might try taking my neon red with my magenta. Add a few in here. Then a little bit of white. Small. Going around. Small little lines like this. Just like that. 
and take both colors on your brush at the same time even, the white with the magenta. little flowers in here too. Pick up a little bit of green. Get some more of that gold. Just a little bit here. Soften this face up a little bit. There, how about some white for these wings? Using a lot of paint, I want these to look kind of 3D. See how much paint I've got on my brush? I'm going to come from down here, dab it on, and lightly pull. Lightly pull for those feathers. Leaving some spaces. Here with a little bit of my pale blue. Add some shadow or contrast. Maybe we'll add a little little blue rose in here too. Grab a little bit of white. some of my yellow and white now. A little bit more yellow actually. Add 
some in here. Take a little bit of water and get some of my sap green. Now it is mixed in with my yellow and white. I'm creating another shade of green. Hurry up and catch that. There. I took a little bit of his hair off accidentally, so let's bring some back. I'm gonna take my, I haven't used my yellow ochre yet. Let's do some yellow ochre. Got some curls on the top. a little bit more on this one too. Back to my pink. Very rosy cheeks. These cherubs. I'm going to soften that a little bit with some white. I was coming in here with a little bit more of my dark green. with just a little bit of blue. All right, now I'll continue working on this little leg. And the shadow here, the foot. I think I'm ready to start the next one, the final one. I get a scoop of burnt sienna gold and yellow ochre. Add right in here this hair. I'm going to take some white right away. face in here. I'm 
shadow. And that comes out like this. And let's push off some of that paint there. So I'm waiting here for a highlight on this side of his face. I'm going to check the shoulder. I'm going to take yellow and white. He's going to have, he or she's going to have a yellow ribbon. So look at all the paint that I've got on my brush. That yellow is very, very strong. I need to add some wings. So I'm going to take light blue, violet, and white. dark color back in here. I mean, another little hand there. We can't really see it very well, but a beautiful wreath or maybe it's a wreath or maybe it's a halo I'm not really sure let's take some of our green in here a little line and then we'll start tapping in some little leaves
It's nice that we've got this wet paint underneath because those are the colors I need to add all these little highlights and different colors of leaves and I don't know, maybe little vines. So I think we'll add a little bit of magenta just right in here for soft shadow. And the eyes a little bit here and we'll darken them up after. some pink flowers. We'll add a little little dabs of neon red and magenta. Add a little bit there. A little bit of yellow. More green in here. Okay, so I have this yellow here but for his ribbon, but it's not really showing up enough. So what I need to do is take some gold. I'm gonna take some gold. Mix it with a little bit of yellow. I'm going to add a little bit more depth in here. Don't want that green. Okay, so a little bit of warmth in here as well. So I've got a combination of yellow ochre, white, and yellow. And I'm going to go over some of these here. Kind of just rolling and pulling my brush. And then take more of my light yellow. Add some light pinky flowers right in here. And some little white ones. Now what we need to do here is I need to scoop off some of this paint because I've got too much green. And it's kind of just overwhelming the arm a little bit in here. And we're that ribbon goes. So I'm gonna pull some white and yellow in there again. And yeah, I think I like that better. And then I'll come in with a little bit, just very delicately add some leaves in there. So while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to go back to my white and I'm going to come around here and try to add, now it's still a bit too wet, come back 
I'll add some with a little filbert brush. So this is my little filbert. I'm going to add some pinks in these clouds. Take a little bit of blue violet. These ones are really puffy. We'll push and turn, push and turn. And I need some, let's take a little bit of white with turquoise. Mostly white. We'll add some little flowers. Little tiny dabs, really touchy. call this one done. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you liked watching this. It was something different and give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so I can keep going and bringing you guys unique content each and every week. Thanks. Bye.